Right, what we're going to look at here is uh, putting a, uh, a search box. We want to put a search uh, widget into here, uh, but we don't know what the code is. Uh, so we're going to figure out uh, how to get that code there. So the place we want to look uh, to figure out uh, if there's any uh, information that can help us is in the control panel. And look for the support center. And what's the search module we want to have a look at? Okay, search. And that's going to take us over to jamroom.net and into the documentation section. Search the documentation for any uh, search documentation. There is one uh, that we want there, modules, search, and we've got the information there. Uh, what does it do? The search module adds search functionality to your site. That's what we're after. And we want to come down here and have a look and see if there are any uh, uh, functions we can use for uh, for skin design. Uh, this uh, the, uh, the functions that we can use in the skin are the same functions that we can use in the template code section. Uh, so uh, after reading all that, we figure out that the, uh, the one that we want is this one here, search form, and we grab that text. Copy that, and we go back to our page that we want to add that into. Edit this page, grab a widget, put one in there, and uh, we don't want to put it into the editor side of things. Uh, this is uh, this is the text. Uh, it's code, so even if we put it into here, which is the the code section, uh, it would still come out as uh, uh, as code. That's like something's been tacked on there. Okay, it'd come out as text. It'd just display there as text. Uh, I'll save that just to show what's happening. So it'd be printed out here, and it wouldn't wouldn't be processed. Uh, we want to process it. So we're going to go in here and change over into the code sections. Now an important thing to note here is uh, the editor section and the code section are completely different. They're totally, totally separate. So if you've got stuff over here uh, and there's some text in, in there, uh, it's got nothing to do with this section over here. You're choosing one or the other. Either you want the editor or you want the code. And in this, uh, this case we want the code. So even if we've got code uh, left over there in the editor section, it's not going to make any difference. Uh, what, we're, what is being output here is just the code uh, that we put in here. Uh, if we switch back to there, then we go back to the uh, that's what we had before. But we're going to save the changes on the code section uh, and put this into the widget. So that other editor stuff is going to disappear. It's not a uh, they're not connected. It's one or the other. And there we go. We've got a site search come out there, and we can search for whatever we want there, just to make sure it works. And there it is. So our, our search section is working now, and it sees we've got uh, blogs with the word poll in them, and uh, a couple of tagged items with the word poll in them uh, as well. So that's how you add a search box uh, widget to the site builder system.